Rome or the city on seven hills is the choice. Benvenuti a Roma will be used to welcome you as you arrive in Rome. Emperors ruled, gladiatorial battles took place, the destiny of the Catholic Church was decided, the best works of the Baroque period were made, Leonardo da Vinci was a genius, and Federico Fellini shot his celebrated Dolce Vita here. Every Roman structure, including the cobblestones, is imbued with the spirit of antiquity. What should you be aware of before organizing a memorable trip to Rome? The Eternal City has so much to offer visitors that they can never get enough of it. Where do you start? Rome is home to several well-known attractions, including the Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Roman Forum with its colorful ruins, and the Trevi Fountain. After completing the appropriate coursework, welcome to the fascinating parts of the city that not everyone is familiar with. For instance, the Aventine Hill is omitted by many individuals in vain. The gate of the Order of Malta Monastery has a keyhole here. It is stated that through it, you can see three countries at once, Italy, where the gate is located, the Vatican, and Malta, where the order is from. To experience the best Italian cuisine, gourmets should without a doubt visit restaurants in Rome. You should try prosciutto, pizza, carbonara pasta, and of course local wines. If you're searching for a quick snack, get a panini. It's a tasty, inexpensive covered sandwich with fillings. Rome has ice cream shops everywhere, so anyone with a sweet tooth is unlikely to refuse it. Gelateria Ciampini, located between the Spanish Steps and Piazza Navona, is said to have been making the best gelato for more than 50 years. The Barcaccia Fountain and Via Condati may be seen from the stairs, along with other breathtaking landscapes. A boat that is submerged in the fountain partially. It is said that during a significant flood, the Tiber's waves transported it to the square in the form of a boat. There are lots of couples who go on dates in the stairway. In the film Roman Holiday, Gregory Peck's journalist Joe Bradley and Audrey Hepburn's Princess and originally met here. It is risky for Princess and to consume an ice cream drink because eating is not authorized on the Spanish steps. When the azaleas are in bloom, the staircase is especially attractive. They assert that Nikolai Gogol enjoyed sitting on these stairs while he wrote Dead Souls, which he did while spending a lot of time in Rome. Italian food numerous pillars sustain Roman food. Meat is the first step. Production is the second. Obviously, pasta is in third place. If you want to eat well while in Rome, we suggest that you go to the Trastevere neighborhood. One of the most beautiful and lively areas in the Eternal City is this one. Trastevere is known for its small, cobblestone streets, outdoor cafe tables, live music, and other amenities. There are numerous types of cafes and restaurants in Rome. The first are Hosterias and Trattorias. These pubs are essentially full-service restaurants. While a meal there is expensive, the food is frequently excellent. Second, the Rastasiria subtype. These are little, family-owned eateries that are typically operated by families. After selecting a Trastevere restaurant for dinner, take careful not to become lost in the menu. Even the more straightforward eateries have a full book, and the more melodious titles make your eyes enlarge. The first course will be the appetizers. Both artichokes and zucchini are quite well-liked in Rome. Try the Fiori di Zucca, zucchini flowers in batter, or Carciofi alla Romana, whole artichokes filled with garlic and parsley and fried in olive oil. There are so many things to do and places to see in Rome. While Piazza Navona, Piazza del Popolo, and Campo de Fiori are just a few of the public squares that travelers can explore at their leisure while strolling around Rome, the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Pantheon are some of the city's most significant archaeological sites. Rome's Pontifical Basilica of St. Peter is the city's holiest building, and one of the city's gorgeous fountains is the Fontana di Trevi. The latter is situated in the Vatican City, which is where most of Rome's attractions are located. Italian cuisine is appropriately classified into a number of extremely distinct regional culinary traditions. Rome falls under the Lazio group, which is distinguished by its heavy reliance on meat and cheese. However, pizza and pasta continue to be the most popular foods among visitors. 
the incredible diversity of spices, herbs, and ingredients inspires the gastronomic imagination and transforms the anticipation of a meal into an exciting journey of tantalizing flavors. The dishes are filled with a variety of sauces made from garlic, tomatoes, and olive oil, further satisfying the already ravenous appetite. Additionally, there are various cafes, restaurants, and pizzerias that can draw tourists by showcasing the richness and hardiness of regional cuisine and capitalizing on the reputation of Italian cuisine. You won't get bored in Rome. A visit to Italy's capital might be filled with sightseeing alone, but taking part in the numerous events and festivals hosted here will give you a more in-depth understanding of this city. Sports events like the Rome Marathon and soccer matches between A.S. Roma and Lazio Roma, for instance, complement cultural events like the Birth of Rome, the Rome Europa Festival, Vertigo, and the Independent Film Festival by allowing fans and supporters to cheer on their favorite teams in matches that have gained international acclaim.